All right, everybody, what's going on? Uh, today, we got a very special collab that we're all doing. Uh, today, we have Ross in the clutch here. We what have up, Mo up? Rated in Wrestling, your boy Narcolepsy Boy 94 depending on what YouTube channel you're watching on. It's going to be posted on everybody's channel. Uh, today, we thought we'd do something fun as far as a collab. We're going to be doing a top 10 list of the best superstars in wrestling of the last decade. From 2014 until now, we're going to do a list as Mo will have in here. We'll have the big list right underneath us as we do our intros and stuff. It's going to be in order. We're doing men and women combined as well, so it's going to make it a lot harder. Obviously, not everybody's going to agree with this. People, the people who watch, some people are going to hate it. Some people may agree. Just based off, you know, who we feel belongs on here, and everybody's gonna have the receipts back it up. So it's not just WWE; it's all of wrestling too, depending on where everybody watches. So you might see some AEW in here, you might see some New Japan, some TNA. You, know, you might see a mixture of different people in here. So uh, as always, please make sure to subscribe, like, share if you're watching on my channel, on Boy 94 Subscribe, like, share, uh, comment, and turn on notifications to be updated with all wrestling content on this platform, and to be updated when we go live every Sunday, 5 p.m. for the No Name Wrestling Podcast, who. Mo was a part of Ross has also been on that show as well. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, and then I'll allow uh, the other guys to introduce themselves as well. And then we're going to dive into this. list, man, it's, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Y'all can uh, subscribe to me at rated M wrestling on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, uh, follow my personal IG at Mo dot Magus and my uh, Twitter at Mo underscore Magus. And yeah, great to be a part of this once again with y'all, man, uh, on the last uh, podcast I was with y'all with and you know, y'all cool, group of dudes man uh shout out to everyone um that uh support it you know for those who don't know name is ross and if you haven't followed me follow me on youtube at kicking it with ross uh on instagram is ross the chosen one and on uh twitter is ross is clutch so it's gonna be fun man it's gonna be fun mm -hmm. so yes, sir. uh we're going to do our top 10 greatest superstars of the last decade men and women different promotions it's going to be very very hard and we're going to put Ooh. them in order which is going to make it a lot harder uh, not everybody's going to make the cut for some people, so we apologize if we lose yeah. some people out here that y'all like or feel like should be on here. And y'all can let us know in the comments, man. If there's somebody that we leave off here, let us know in the comments who you believe should have been on here, who you would take off and replace with. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, just a matter of preferences and opinions when it comes down to it. Uh, non bias of course, we're going to put our bias aside for people. We're going to come with the receipts for the people that we believe should be on here. So, uh... All right, to start with the number one. So this is the number one person we we believe should be at the top of the list, mm -hmm. uh, the top of the echelon mm -hmm. of this list. I think we kind of got the same answer. Uh, right, well, I'm waiting to hear. <laughs> it should be Roman Reigns, if you ask me. Roman Reigns should be number one to me unanimously. So uh... that should be number one to me. But you guys got a different answer. Uh... I see. Roman I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree with Roman because if. Okay. Here's my here's my We're argument. Talking last Roman. decade though, last decade from 2014 and 20, 20, uh, 2024. Now, yeah. I think we can all agree the decade started pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, like, it started pretty rough. Yeah. But if you think yeah. about it, Roman Reigns within these last four years and over the decade has put himself in the conversation of being a top ten WWE superstar of all time. I don't know if he can mm -hmm. really make that case for anyone else. Roman Reigns, the person, the gimmick was never bad because he's shown that once he was able to kind of get off that leash of the big dog and he turned mm -hmm. himself into the tribal chief. Once he had the free layers to open up and do what he wanted to do, he never looked back and the rest has been history. So the big dog Roman, I feel like they were trying to present him to be a way that just wasn't going to be received well by the audience. Like, we don't want him to be that. We don't want him to be the, another John Cena. We don't want mm -hmm. him to be that type of guy. Yep. And then you talk about the last four years. Who has done what he has yeah. done from a storyline aspect? This dude checks off every single box because yep. I think he's the greatest world champion WWE's ever had. He did it on a full-time and a part-time schedule. He checks off box when it comes to character work, when it comes to promo, match quality, shock value, storytelling, help bringing others within the storyline, the Sami Zayn's, the Usos, the Solo Sokoas. He helped bring others along the way to help uplift them within the story as well. So... I, I feel like Roman Reigns should be number one, but it seemed like you may have a different answer. So who, who, yeah, I want to I wanna hear what Ross got for number here's, one. Here's the thing. Y'all make some good points. Y'all almost converted me. Y'all almost did. I, I agree to the points of his earlier booking, and, you know, he's even talked about it, how he wasn't – he really just kind of had to go with the flow because he didn't have that pool yet. So when they had him out there talking about suffering succotash, he knew that shit was awful. But he had to because yeah. he still had to earn his way to get to that point of, nah, I'm not doing this, Vince. So I get that. And 
And and you, you got to take that with a grain of salt. Granted, even though that wasn't his fault in a lot of that, it still was one of those things where it was, it was rough going with him main event those pay-per-views, main eventing WrestleMania over and over and over. And the, outside of the one he had, the first one he had with Brock, which was I think that was 31, which was a really good one. Outside of that, the other main events, not memorable at all to the point where people were booing them him and Brock because they were tired of it we didn't want to see it we're tired of the guy so I think for that reason it he doesn't get the number one for me it's gonna be Brian Danielson bro see I I I could definitely I could definitely see why you say Danielson I'm going Brian Danielson for the simple fact that not only was he not the guy he wasn't supposed to be the guy he was never slated to be the a plus player that he was the fact that he was able to organically get over outside of the system of what wwe wanted and put on some great classic matches he even had a good heel run which honestly on paper that that the no stuff the team hell no stuff it wasn't i don't think they had planned for it to get as over as it did i think with brian in a lot of situations they put him in situations where he wasn't supposed to get over and he still got over and once again he's the ultimate underdog baby face and i think that's what resonated with me earlier in the years then you know even his tortoise in in wwe had some great matches i I love his match he had with roman reigns and you know that's why roman reigns definitely deserves i i could when when y'all started explaining it i was like y'all almost was getting me because i can understand like why he would be number one to me, it's like a 1A, 1B situation. Yeah. You can yeah. interchange these. And for the simple fact that he took a chance, he went to AEW, and I do think they kind of mishandled his booking a, uh, uh, for sure during his AEW run. Um, but he was still beloved in the fact just seeing recently him 10 years later being at the top. He didn't even want the championship, supposedly. that Tony Khan had to beg him to take the championship, and it was still... It reminded me why I had been a fan for so long, just him overcoming the odds, being that good underdog, and he was allowed to kind of do a little bit more in AEW. And it's just dope to see that 10 years later, he's still on top of the wrestling world, in my uh, humble opinion. So that's no, why he's, I, yeah. I chose he's still him. The best. No I feel like I can't put him there mm-hmm. because I feel like he didn't get to reach the peak with the run as the champion. No, that's a good point. Come when on. he won the championship at WrestleMania, he got hurt not too long yeah. after that. Then yeah, had to give it up, better. and he was gone yeah. for the whole year. Then he came right. back. He won the IC title and then had to give that up afterwards yeah. because he got hurt. Then he yeah. retired, came back, and then he had the heel run as champion. But by the time he got to be the champion again, time had to pass, and other yeah. people were coming up like the Kofi Manias yeah. or something like that. Yeah, so. you're right. You're right. That's fair. I, I, can, that's I fair. can see you not putting him at one, but I think he's a top three lock. Because if we think okay. of some top three, top three, Ooh. I think he's a top three lock. Oh, for sure, yeah, he's top three lock. <laughs> if you if you lock. look at some of the greatest comebacks, oh, no, we got some other names. We got a name too, though. Yeah, for sure. But if you think of some of the greatest comebacks in wrestling history, I yeah. think Shawn Michaels would be at number one, and I think right under that mm. would be Brian Daniels. Like when I think about like the best comebacks, I'm talking about like what he's done since he's came back. Since he's yeah. came back, it's been. Even especially in AEW, if we're talking about his in ring work, he's probably put oh on some gosh. of the best Ooh. matches now. This match with MJF still. Bro, people yeah. were coming at me when I I, po- I posted a video right after the Swerve match. Mm-hmm. I was like Brian I, Danielson, I was like Brian Danielson could still be the best in the world. Like right Arguably. now, he could still be the best. In the world. Yeah. And, and people were going crazy. Like, no, wait, like, are y'all tripping? It's y'all, him or y'all, y'all not watch this man wrestle, or am I just crazy? Bro. I will concede because I, I understand it makes sense. I, I think. It would be a different conversation if he didn't have to retire and we could have seen that run yeah. and how that would have been. Then we could, you know, revisit that. But outside of that, Roman Reigns has been the most steady champion that we've had. And these last four years truly shows what we probably could have gotten and should have gotten under the Vince McMahon era. I think this was clear indications of what they what probably Roman wanted to do, but he couldn't do. So I'm OK with that. I'm, I can I can agree. I, I'm not one of those people like, no, no, I can't. No, there's no way. Nah, it makes sense. <laughs> I, I can agree. Um, Roman Reigns number one. I can. We can put Roman Reigns number one. 
Okay. Okay. Great. Now y'all y'all throw out Brian Danielson so we we can talk about that. There's some other names that I do want to throw out there because I mean. Uh, I do want to say one thing right. real quick. I do want to say one thing uh-huh. real quick. On uh-huh. this list, I think locks should be the entirety of the Shield. They're, they're they're all all three of them are locks for this list in my opinion. All three. Okay. They've Seth ran Rollins the industry. Me. They've ran the industry for the last decade. That's a okay, fair. So that's, he, that's a fair he threw one. Out the shield. He threw out the shield and Daniel Bryan. He got to be on here. I'm sorry. Brian Danielson got to oh, be yeah, on there yeah. too. Oh, Danielson, yeah, he got to. When we talk about number two, though, I mean, I don't know. For me, I feel like this man has a has a spot to be number two for me, and that's Kenny Omega, bro. Especially I was going to throw his name out there. You watch what he did in Japan. The matches he was having, bro. He, to, the reason to me he could have a spot for this is because he was one of the few people to make indie wrestling very popular. When people were talking mm-hmm. about Bullet Club and stuff, they were talking about Kenny Omega. When mm-hmm. they were talking about, you know, New Japan, they were talking about Kenny Omega versus Okada matches. Kenny Omega mm-hmm. versus this guy. Kenny, bro, Kenny Omega got so popular. Chris Jericho left WWE and went over to have a match with him in New Japan mm-hmm. Pro Wrestling, and that helped subscriptions, you know, rise up for New Japan. Chris mm-hmm. Jericho, at that stage in his career, not going to go over and just wrestle anybody. Like, yeah. Kenny Omega had such a buzz. Chris Jericho said, what's, what's everybody talking about this Kenny Omega? Let me check him out. Oh, I could do something with that guy. Went over there and did something with him in New Japan in 2017. Mm-hmm. The title matches he's won, the G1 Classics, not to mention the run he had as AW World Champion, too. Yep. I mean, that run he has AW World Champion, the I belt mean, collector. He- he ran his body into the ground, essentially. Yeah. TNA yes. World Championship, AAA World Championship. I mean, and he's he's been able to do all this without even stepping foot in WWE, too. Like, has WWE definitely wanted him. They, they did. Hasn't they even wanted. stepped foot in WWE. So, I, I don't know, man. Kenny Omega, bro. I, I Kenny mean, Omega, he, I think, should be... I, I think our top three in whatever order should be. Roman Reigns, Danielson, Omega, and whatever order. Another so, no, one and two is locked. We didn't even talk about Okada yet, either. Okada's another locked. one. Yeah, Kenny, and Kenny and Roman. Yeah, Kenny and Roman are both one and two. Okay. Now, okay. I mean, we for, need to talk about Okada. Here's a name I'm gonna throw out there because this this guy has done things that nobody can say. I'm throwing out Cody Rhodes. Now, Ooh. the first two years, obviously, he was doing the Stardust Ooh. thing, so it's a little it's a little rough. But then after that, he leaves WWE, completely reinvents himself, makes himself a star, creates AEW, which helps the industry immensely. Then he comes back. He has he has a, a decent run in AEW, but then he comes back to WWE, and within the two years, imagine he didn't have the career beforehand. He didn't have any of those accomplishments, right? Imagine yeah. just these two years, what he's done within two years. There's not many people that could say that he's. We talked. We talked about they've done those things. Class. Cody Rhodes became so popular they booed The Rock. Yeah, like they that. turned The Rock heel mm-hmm. in 2024 mm-hmm. because of one man. For See, that's why uh, that's a good point you brought up too. That's mm-hmm. why I always said Cody Rhodes has an aura to him now because people try to deny it, and it's mainly the bloodline fans or the people uh, who just they, hate oh, Cody you, Rhodes. They gonna clip this and they gonna send you. Oh yeah, they, they gonna I'm be so they, they gonna be I'm so mad. How dare you say that Cody Rhodes is an aura? But you that's can't deny it. <laughs> He's so popular in this era yeah, with the is. baby face gimmick that people you hate. hate. <laughs> if hate Cody Rhodes was in the Russian era, he'd be hated. Oh, bro, sure. John Cena was this type of baby face for years mm-hmm. and got booed out of stadiums and buildings, bro. Yes. Cody Rhodes has been embraced. He has been beloved by the audience. Mm-hmm. He's so popular. They picked they picked the rock over him, bro. I mean, like they I mean they picked him over the rock, bro. Like, can people mm-hmm. fathom that, bro? Like that's- he's got the impact, he's got the importance, what he's been able to do, reinventing himself, turning himself into a main event guy. Cause like I said, it's the last 10 years, and we talk about in the beginning of 2014, nobody was Cody Rhodes wasn't a main. Nobody was talking about him as main eventing guys. You no know, mm-hmm. one of the main event guys. Nobody was talking about Cody Rhodes. Nah, he's a main all. eventer, bro. He's a main eventer, and he is a draw because people want to. The people will pay to see Cody Rhodes. As simple as that. So, so number three. Oh, you know what? Another superstar that has to be a lock. Honestly, he could be top ten. You got to hear me out on this. Uh, I'm throwing out Gunther, bro. Thank you. Yep, that was my next name on the list because you got to remember we're talking about last years. ten. We're talking about last 10 years. He's done a lot through the indies. He's definitely top. Top 10. But I sure. got I got some stats here that y'all probably don't know about. And he could be a top 10, top he's, five just for this. The last five years, he's been he's only been in WWE since 2019. Yeah. He's only lost a very handful of matches. Three, Gunther, right? 73% of his time in WWE has been a champion. And he yep. has a 93 win percentage in WWE yeah, in the last gonna... five years. Yeah. It's in a five-year span. He was NXT UK champion for 870 days, mm-hmm. the longest reigning Intercontinental champion, and made himself the greatest Intercontinental champion of all time, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. 666 days of champion, King of the Ring, and now he's the current world champion. Yep. Yep. He has 
a presence to him that nobody else has. His style yeah. is very old school, very different. And it works. He doesn't feel like every other superstar on the roster. Yes. Nobody else feels like him or compares to him. His style, yeah. his uniqueness, his aura is completely different than everybody else's. His matches are insane. He has nothing but great matches. His I've never seen a bad Gunther match. I, ever. I've never, I've never, I've never seen I've never. <laughs> never. Seen... Gunther, it doesn't even matter, bro. He's never had yeah. bad matches that I've seen, bro. So mm. not to mention his style is different. I feel like Gunther could be a lock on here. He has oh, no, he's a, a strong yeah, resume. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I, I want to put Brian, three. right? I, want to put, I, I, put I, Brian, I, I think, think Daniels is three, bro. Not going to lie. Yeah. We can put yeah. Danielson at three. All right. So we got Roman one, Kenny two, Danielson three. We talked about AJ Styles, mm. Okada, somebody else that, that Okada has to be Okada should be in the top five. I think you Okada know what? Honestly, bro, there's one woman that I'm going to fight for to be on this top five. Who is it? Who is it? Who is Becky it? Lynch. I agree completely. Ooh. I agree completely. No if you woman think about it, high. she's the only woman in WWE history to say that she was the face of the entire company for a period of time. Mm. And to go from where she was, just like Roman Reigns, she was not hated, but she was mid-card, yeah. main event scene here and there, but was taken out of the main event scene here and there. Then after the man gimmick, bro, her popularity increased. Skyrocketed. High. It was crazy. The WrestleMania main event for women doesn't happen without the Becky Lynch character. First yeah. ever women's WrestleMania main eventer and winner. Double champ. Yeah. Everything she's done since then, Royal Rumble wins. The matches she's had with Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, yeah. mm -hmm. a Charlotte. Um, I mean, my gosh, bro. Like, Becky Lynch has been able to rise up so big, and she's one of the most impactful women superstars we've ever seen. And I think a lot of people want to discredit her because once she reached that peak and high, then they want to start to call her Becky Hogan and all this. And Becky talk about Hogan, she she's over. cringe, all this crap. Yeah. She has put people over countless of times throughout the year. Yeah. The last year or so, she had matches with Tiffany Stratton, Lyra Valkyrie went down to NXT to, to help showcase that NXT Women's Championship. Mm -hmm. She put Rhea over WrestleMania, literally stuck around after WrestleMania. Put Bianca over, over too. After she after she uh, was forced to squash her at SummerSlam, uh, she talked about it in a book, how she's like, I'm going to do you a solid. I'm going to repay the favor. And she put her over. So if we're going to do that, then what about Charlotte? Yeah, I was going to say Charlotte's another woman. Yeah, Charlotte's in the conversation. Yeah, she's in the conversation. I mean, granted, people may not like her, but 14 She has great matches. She has great matches. If you, if you put tonight. anyone, if we talk about big, big match John in the women's division, that's Charlotte Flair. Yeah, you put her in a big yeah. match. She gonna Money. she gonna deliver. Money. Big Charlotte Flair was the company chosen one, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And rightfully so, because she's great in her own right. She she is spectacular. Charlotte could definitely make an argument for this list, but I I, I would I think I, I understand with, I understand with the Becky situation because like you said, it happened organically. They tr once again, Vince and his Vince isms, they tried to turn her heel and it didn't work bro Failed, it didn't work they she was trying to get the fans to turn on they didn't give a damn and once her nose got broken by nia Jax, it was over that yeah that's visual, what i'm trying to tell people like th that, that visual, moment pushed it over the edge but she was already that growing was at that point over. she yeah, was bro, already that was, extremely popular before that but then that, that was, was it stone cold passing out at wrestlemania to bret hart Bleak. He was a heel. He was the bad guy. But yeah. it was just the imagery of him not giving up, and he passed out the blood running down his face. The same thing here. Becky knows all fucked up, but the image of that, like, this is why we fucks with her. This is why she's the she next tough, one. bro. She was she tough. She was tough. And you don't really, you didn't really see that too much with the women wrestlers. They wanted them to be kind of dainty, pretty. You know, yeah. they were trying to get uh, Becky Lynch is on business. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Nah, so I, I, he definitely deserves to be on this list. The question is where? 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 Yeah. where? Okay, so we got to talk about number four. Who, mm -hmm. who y'all think? We got three. Who y'all think? You were saying AJ. You said AJ potentially. Said Okada, Okada and Seth Rollins. Still got to talk about Seth Rollins. So I yeah. think Okada and, and Seth should be the next two. Over AJ Styles, though? No. But AJ, the thing with, with AJ, AJ the is five the, years, the, the last five the years. Last, the last few years has been detrimental because they haven't i don't and it's not really his fault no. in per se i think it's more so and what about cody too bro oh yeah and cody oh man Fuck. this is tough you make oh, we getting we getting real nasty in here man we can get uh, real nasty in here i don't know cody rose might be top well, five i'm not gonna lie he might be a top should we five go, should I mean, we go okada cody i'm not well well versed with okada so i can't really speak on that i'm not gonna say i know the new lie. japan a lot of like the new japan watchers no, like, okay, okay okada, so basically like, like okada japan was like john cena, 
Yeah, he okay, ran okay. New Japan. I've heard of his name before. plenty of times. And no, yeah, Okada, Okada. I'm, I think That's Okada should be four. I think he should be four. Let's, let's put Okada at four. Okay, I'm okay. not mad at that. He he ran New let's Japan, start, and when I was right watching it for a little four, bit, so. he was yeah, we'll put, he was we'll put the Okada man. at four. Some of the greatest matches that I've ever fifth seen. spot. I'm kind of leaning towards Cody. I'm not going to cap to you. For me, it's Cody or Seth. I mean, and I think Cody has the bigger impact. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm putting Becky over Seth. What? Ooh. What? Ooh. Damn. So we're going for. Let's be honest though. When they, when, they, when they paired up against each other, who we, had, we, we who saw had who more people like more. Yeah, Damn. we saw who had more ore. Bro, they put a T-shirt out for Seth Rollins. And said the man's man. Come on, bro. I, how is yeah, okay. how he getting overshadowed by he getting overshadowed by 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 his girlfriend, bro? The man's so man, bro. You move Kata for. Five Cody, I think that's fair. I, I think so. I yeah. think so. I think number six gotta be Becky Lynch, bro. I'm fighting for Becky Lynch. <laughs> over she Gunther, six. yes. Over Seth, over Gunther, bro. Her impact is too strong for when it comes to women's wrestling. Yeah. When it comes, to general, she bro. was the face. She was the <laughs> face of the company, bro. She was. It, it was. It was during worst time of WWE in 2019. Ooh. Bad year, terrible year. She was. Oh. That, when you really think about it. She really was the face. Like people was paying. She was the draw. People cared to see what she was doing more than all the other guys. Oh, that's they cared, like, that's they cared like about her movie. more than Roman Reigns, more yeah. than Seth Rollins, more yeah. than you can even say more than even the Fiend at the time, bro. Like the Fiend yeah, character like had been her... new, but Becky Lynch was the 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 top. Yeah, she yeah. was. She her was rise real. was like twenty. I want to say twenty eighteen to about WrestleMania thirty five in twenty nineteen was the peak of the women's division on the main roster that they've oh, yeah. that they've ever reached like i think we cared more about everything that was going on in the women's division compared to what was going on with the men 10 years from now we're going to be talking about how impactful she was to the to the women's evolution to the women's wrestling in wwe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like they it, 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 like becky lynch they need a mover she she was okay. I, I what i will say about becky like since she came back from her pregnancy she was basically john cena from 2015 forward yeah that's what mm -hmm. she did she she yeah, had her run she was she was the man i guess and then she started to give it to, to she started to give back basically becky lynch bro she makes stars too bro she makes she helps make others you know so she, yeah becky, becky lynch is, is is a lock for me at number six all right we still got to figure I out where we're gonna that. put gunther and aj too. i feel like seven and eight yeah. gotta be seth and gunther we just gotta figure out where are we where leaving moxley off the list Oh yeah, well, we still got we still got we still got more, but seven and eight got to be Gunther and Seth. We just got to figure out All right. where, where we gonna place. I think Gunther. Seth's impact has been bigger, just just a, a little bit. Gunther has done a lot Gunther accomplish eight. wise. Yeah, yeah, accomplishment yeah. wise, yeah. Gunther's done a lot, but yeah. Seth, like the Shield impact yeah. wise, they've ran yeah. the industry. Oh, yeah, yeah, they've right, literally yeah. just ran the industry. Yeah, so the last I, decade. I, can, I, I, can, I like that. Seth and Gunther at eight. I can agree with Seth definitely. Um, you know, he's been the workhorse <laughs> since the Shield days, since after his heel run after the Shield. Even though it was starting to waver a little bit at the beginning, it was great. The the cash in at WrestleMania, heist of the century, one of the greatest ways to end the WrestleMania. It was a yeah. definitely dope yeah. moment. Um, him, you know, saying overcoming the injuries that he's had and being able to reinvent reinvent himself as well, character wise, and he's still one of the most over individuals and he was the mvp for wrestlemania 40. he is out there literally wrestling Shawn michaels of this generation like so if he, that, when, when, I, when you I, think I about agree. dependable yeah him yeah him he's the guy i want to build a company around that's what seth rollins is and so we got gunther at eight we got gunther at eight yeah Ooh. i can put gunther at eight gunther at eight is fine got two spots left but, man what about we was just talking about AJ. We AJ, just talking about Mark, John Mox. Mox. I think Goldberg should be on here. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Keep this man away from any top 10 list like this. Unless we talking about of all time and uh, talking about WCW. Yeah. Uh, shit. Greatest entrance, top five, top 10 entrance, top 10 entrance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah top 10 without, a doubt, without a doubt, yeah. Are we going, we going to put AJ on here? Because <laughs> I, uh, good, I personally wouldn't. Good. I got another name to throw out there. Mm -hmm. You said you wouldn't? I wouldn't. What? It, it, if we're talking about those first five years, yeah. Nah, he's probably top five. But if we're talking about 
2019. I think the first five years has been better than, than the last five years of, that has been bad, though. Like, what do you it think? Hasn't TNA, been bad. It's just been nothing. New Japan, the stuff he did in WWE. Oh, I can't I can't leave AJ after that. <laughs> so, okay, it seems like the last three people we're debating on is Moxley, Styles, and Charlotte. Those have been the three names that have yeah. been that have been thrown out there. Because um, the thing is, even though some people are not, a, and all, recently I, I haven't been the biggest fan of Moxley's matches because I feel like they've kind of they've kind of gotten redundant in a sense. Um, mm -hmm. Just I, I haven't been the biggest fan of them, but I will say I definitely appreciated the stuff that he was doing in WWE. Could his mm -hmm. WWE run been much better? Probably should have been, and I think he yeah. plays a part into that too. Especially with that whole interview he had with Stone Cold, you can kind of tell he was yeah. kind of he wasn't where he needed to be. But you know, we also know that WWE they were trying to contain all the crazy shit that he wanted to fucking do. But to say that he did leave, and then and they tried to bury this nigga under the ground he was feuding with nia Jax. they had this nigga wearing a bane mask like he, they had this nigga getting a shot you know what i'm saying you know from up his ass pause it's just it was wild <laughs> shit they were doing to this nigga bro like they were doing <laughs> everything to bury him and he goes to aew and he's a instant fucking star i mean a yeah. mega star he, he has one of the loudest pops i've ever heard in wrestling when he came out there through the crowd, crowd went crazy, and he was when he debuted. Favorite. When he debuted, I knew AEW was really like something to fully take serious. Yeah, mm, yeah and you mentioned, I mean, he's kind of been the face of AEW too. He's been like the backbone for them. Yeah, I mean, three time yeah. AEW World Champion. Yeah, had great runs as champion. The matches, he's been, he's been he's been the backbone of AEW mm -hmm. since. And especially the remember out. when we had the whole brawl out situation, mm -hmm. they. They needed him and he stepped yeah, up. Yeah, they did. They even did. before even before Brawl Out when Punk broke his foot. Like he like you said, he's the backbone of AEW. If Can you had to pick it. one of those three, just pick one right now and we'll come back to the other. To be locked on the list? Yeah, like you feel like that this person has to be on there. AJ, Charlotte, or Mox. Mox. I'm saying Mox. What you saying? This is AJ Styles for me, bro. Oh man, no! <laughs> I gotta go with AJ Styles, man. Oh man, uh, it's between. Cause I think for me, what dropped Moxley down, he would be outside. He's like edging outside of the top ten only because when he did get the WWE run, it didn't go nowhere. It really didn't. It, it it was it was one of the runs where, yeah, you remember when he won it that that whole Shield situation where all three of them were champions at one point at Money in the Bank. That was fucking crazy how he won it. But the interview with Stone Cold kind of you kind of seen where his mental was, and it, it didn't seem like he was all the way there. And you know, it, it, the run didn't really work as well as it. I mean they had this man over your feet with fucking L's work like what the fuck was that that was dumb it, it got the joke got bad really quickly and Charlotte's situation it was just too many title reigns like they were patting the stat too many bro and that's too that many kinda, that, that kind of turned people off to her just like damn bro she just she would wait didn't she recently come back challenge Ronda and didn't win or some shit yeah, yeah same win way. right away <laughs> Like Charlotte, like, Charlotte since bro, 2015 she buried Oscar twice. Charlotte, yeah. Charlotte since 2014. In the last 10 years, has been a champion every year, at least once. Yeah. Besides this year, oh and, she, and she's and she's only been injured this year. That's the only reason she hasn't held one this year. I would say number nine for me. I'm 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 fighting for AJ Styles at number nine, bro. You got to be on here. You know what? Wait, so what was I'm number eight? Moved. Gunther. Gunther's eight. All right, so yeah, AJ nine. Okay, I'm, I'm moved. I'm locked in with AJ nine. I I, I yeah, I'm bro. Sorry. He. Even though the last few years haven't been the best, I mean, he still had a really great match with The Undertaker. That was one of the best WrestleMania COVID matches, that whole situation with The Undertaker. I yeah. thought that was great. That was a great way to send off match, The Undertaker. Yeah. yeah, that was perfect a great goodbye. way to send off The Undertaker. That was I think, uh, too, but like we talk about the last, you split up those five years. I feel like it's kind of like the Roman Reigns situation. A yeah. lot of that good just outweighs that bad. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Those five years, bro. 
2014 to what you can yeah, say 2018 whatever you want to say yeah. but nah bro he was AJ Styles going crazy bro so. and anytime I mean he had a great match with fucking Cody that yeah. first match yeah. that first Ooh. match at back, uh, Backlash that shit was I quit cool. match too I quit match yeah, that was yeah. Good. no he he had some really good matches bro like he can still produce like a great match he can still give you a, a classic depending on the feud the setting he can still do that even at his age and he's he's not missing a beat you know what i'm saying so i feel he like definitely deserves to be on this i feel like oh, yeah. even now if you gave him the wwe title it could work yeah 100 percent. yeah no, facts. all right so now we got that last spot gentlemen we got we got one spot left who number 10 man who's number 10 we gotta make a vote so what what, what, what y'all feeling what y'all feeling Shout um i'm 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 kind of on the list. Uh, I'm I'm kind of in agreement with Mo here. It's just all three members of the Shield. Um, they deserve to be on here in a sense of just impact in wrestling as a whole. Mox is also kind of in the Roman the Becky category. Once he was able to get off that leash and yeah. expand himself, he showed what he, he can really do. It. And mm-hmm. his style is a little bit different. Maybe it's more. A little bit more extreme, a little bit more hardcore, kind of more of the Mick Foley esque. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, very, yeah, yeah. Very, he's very hardcore. He's very edgy. He's very violent. That's his type of style. And once he was able to branch out outside of WWE, he's been a very vocal point in the wrestling world since 2019, the last five years. So yeah, I'm rocking with Mox. I'm, I'm gonna go with Mox. I'm gonna give the flowers. Yeah, and to he Mox. had some good, like I said, he had some good there stuff in WWE. I'm not gonna sit up here and act he like definitely his did. WWE run was all trash. No, he had some good. His matches. AEW run saved him though. It saved yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah, for sure. yeah. For if sure. it was just his WWE run, he wouldn't be on this list. Yeah. But no, nah, but but the AEW run definitely saved him. So all right, right, let's go down through the list again, man. See if we if we are locked in so, permanent. At number one, we have Roman Reigns. Okay. Number two, Kenny Omega. Okay. Number three, Brian Danielson. Love it. <laughs> number four, Kazushka Okada. Okay. At number five, we have Cody Rhodes. Love it. Number six, Becky Lynch. Respect it and love it. Number seven, Seth Rollins. Love it. Number eight, Gunther. <sighs> love it. <laughs> number nine, AJ Styles. Fucking love it. And then number 10, John Moxley. That's a solid top 10 right there. Honorable mentions. I'm going to throw out Bailey, Sasha Banks. For sure. I got to throw out uh, MJF as well. Mm-hmm. Got to throw out Adam Cole. Bobby Lash yep. is the name I want to throw out there. Charlotte mm-hmm. Flair. Honorable mm-hmm. mentions. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of those people could be in here, the top 10 over the last decade, because mm-hmm. everybody's peaks change and vary. But I mean, the 10 we named, it may not be in the particular order you want. And some of y'all mm-hmm. may not even like the, the names we put on here. And, that, and that's fine. Everybody's going to have their own perspective and opinions about certain shit, which is totally cool. But mm-hmm. I think it's hard to argue with that 10 right there, especially in that order, man. I mean, they've all done so much. We, we broke down their impact. We broke down their their matches their championship reigns, their goods, and their bads, you know, pros and cons. We pretty much broke down every aspect you could think of. So I feel like this is a solid 10. I don't see how anybody could go wrong with this 10. Oh, there's someone's going to find a way. What? Cody, uh, top th- five? No yeah. way. No oh, yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are Cody Glazers. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm uh, Yeah, for sure. It's definitely good. Someone's going to reigns too. One reigns number one? What? If it was up to me, I'm putting Becky Lynch top five. Ooh. Top five, Would you move Okada down or Cody down? All right, Danielson. I wanna know what? Oh, yeah. oh. Nah, bro. I wouldn't. Put I, think, I, I, th- I think he's just. I feel like his impact is. It's not. It's, I feel like Becky just had the bigger impact, bro. She meant more. What? I mean, you look at it bar for bar promos. Becky can match him in promos. Character work can match in character work. And I feel like I said when it comes to impact, but she helped revolutionize a division, bro. She did. But here's the thing. Danielson did the same thing because he proved that you don't have to be the stereotypical guy, big build. You don't have to be that to be over. But to be fair, other people, other people have proved that before him too, though. CM Punk did it before Brian Danielson. They just didn't. They messed up his push. You know what I'm saying? They didn't. And, and I and I get that, but they, bro. The thing is with CM Punk, they weren't burying this nigga on commentary. They kept calling this man a fucking goat on commentary religiously and they let you know how they felt about him they were outwardly saying we feel you're a b plus player at best that wasn't no joke that's how they felt you got to take into consideration this was wwe around the time where people were kind of getting tired of the product because of what we were seeing on a regular basis it was around- make the same argue for becky lynch 
You can say ever. that, but how many times were you seeing people doing yes chants outside of wrestling? This was this yeah. was happening. No, no, no. It was it was big. That's it was true. big. I'm looking at it as Danielson had the big impact, but Becky Lynch meant more because she helped revolutionize a division that was dead for many people. Nobody was talking about women's wrestling like that. Women's wrestling used to be bra and panties matches, lingerie pillow fights. Becky Lynch helped transcend an entire division and was the face of the company. We're talking about a female who was the face of the WWE. That's unheard of, and, and especially in the era that we grew up in. I get that. I I, I, I I totally agree. But I also, to counter that point, at the same time, this man was able, like you said, you know, people in the past have been able to get over that weren't the traditional what Vince wanted. But he was able to do it in a way I hadn't seen someone get that over outside of CM Punk. But to that extent, since the Attitude Era, because that was, it was everywhere he went that's all you heard was yes chance everything he did this man couldn't do nothing wrong bro but i feel like it's bigger for becky lynch because it was for the women it was unheard of you wouldn't even imagine if he would have said 10 years ago when daniel bryan was having the yes movement that we would see women main eventing a wrestlemania and we would not one only care about it but it would feel big enough nobody was going eh, we haven't been talking about no women main event a wrestlemania like who, who, who could possibly be big enough to main event a WrestleMania at that stage? People had done what Daniel Bryan had did before in that in that stage. People who weren't the chosen ones supposed to be at that stage. And some of them may not got to the popularity level that Bryan got to. And some of them might not even be as, as good at wrestlers, you know what I'm saying, overall as Bryan Danielson. But we've seen that with the men before. You never saw it with the women. It was unheard of. She still to this day is the only woman that could be the face of the WWE. And I think people have to really put that into account. Not everybody can get the title of being the face of the company. We're talking about Hulk Hogan. We're talking about, you know, Cena, Rock, Austin, Roman Reigns. Now, that was Becky Lynch for a year. She was the face of the whole company for a year. And she did it as a female and consistently did it until she lost the championship when she got pregnant. Bro, that's that's so that's so unheard of. That's it might not ever be done again with the women. I get I I get it. Like I can I can agree to disagree with you on that one. Cause you make some really good points for a woman to be able to do that, especially once again, old Vince being back there. Despite him being back there and them actually doing that, I can understand. If y'all had to do your top five, how would y'all put it? I would do for me, Roman Reigns. I would do Omega. Okada would be number three for me. Becky and then Cody. For me, it would be this, the list we have. Re Reigns, Kenny, Danielson, Okada, Cody. I would do Reigns. I would definitely do Danielson. <laughs> Danielson be number two. Uh, honestly, I probably would just move everybody else up, essentially. So it'll, the only thing that would really switch would be just the position of everybody else from five up so um yeah i would just move uh yeah i would move Danielson up i would move cody up um kenny the like i said the thing with him i can uh, i can appreciate what he what i was able to see afterwards and some of the stuff i was able to see just online i was like okay and i knew of him even though I didn't even see any of his matches, I knew a lot of people was like, hey, Kenny is this guy. Kenny is this guy. Boom, 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 boom. I was like, who is this guy? And then once I started seeing the matches, I was like, you know what? Now I see why people are, you know, making lists of who's really the number one wrestler in the world and all this other stuff. And now I can. Uh, so I, I, I would, out of respect of just what I've seen just off the AEW stuff and some of the stuff I've seen online, I definitely... He definitely is in the top five as well. So, all right. So we 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 all you know I got our own opinions about this. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see what the people say. We'll see what everybody yeah. has to say about this. Should be an interesting topic. This if you want to see more collabs or more lists like this in the future, let us know in the comment section. It could be about anything. It could be a top ten mm -hmm. goats, top ten greatest superstars of all time. It could be a top ten WrestleMania main event. It could be Ooh. you know top ten theme songs. You know whatever you guys Ooh. would prefer. You know what I want to see. Let us know in the comment section below. We'll be more than happy to try to make something happen for y'all and collab again. So mm -hmm. as always, make sure to subscribe you'll see the socials on the page right here uh under everybody's uh name so make sure you guys subscribe to everybody's social right underneath fellas it's been a pleasure uh, i think we've come up with a good list here i don't think it's gonna be 
I don't think people can argue with it, but you know, people are gonna find a way either way. So. They'll find a way. They'll, they'll find a way. They'll do it. People are gonna find a way to twist the narrative and twist the edge for it. So I'm mm-hmm. ready for it. I'm ready for it. Yep, for sure, for sure. But this was good, man. This is great, y'all, man. Yes, sir.